I'm definitely nervous a bit. I'm in a good way, I think. Army Major J.D. Tillman hasn't seen his son in 10 months. I've, I've missed him a whole bunch. Um, I've actually thought about this day um, quite a bit over the last several months. A while ago, he promised Jalen he'd be back by his 16th birthday. He's made it with one day to spare. Hey, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Tillman lost 55 pounds overseas. He wondered if his son would even recognize him, but immediately he did. What went through your head? That's my dad. It just kind of, I mean, because I'm thinking he's in Afghanistan. How much does it mean to you for him to be here for your 16th birthday? More than anything that I could ever imagine. This hug is something they've both been waiting for. I need to touch him, you know, something I hadn't done in a long time. I've had that mental image um, over and over. His son is now old enough to understand. His father's job is a dangerous one. I try not to think about it, but you know, I mean, it's a whole nother world over there. But on his 16th birthday, he won't have to worry. His father is home. I'm just happy. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs>
Okay, so we're today Aiden got a letter from his elf and Sophie's elf saying that what did it say? It said well Santa Santa Well I lost my bike. His bike Santa, was stolen. Yes. And Santa got me a new one. Well you don't know it said he has something here that you've been missing, right? It's probably the same bike. Okay, well, you can't turn around until I tell you. Do you understand? Aiden, come stand right here. Come stand next to your sister. You cannot turn around until I tell you, even if the garage door opens, okay? okay. Don't turn around yet. All right. Don't turn around yet. All right, you can turn around. <laughs> no bike, Aiden, but this is better, yeah? <laughs> Aiden, Sophie, are you surprised? She doesn't want to hug me. So now we're. So she leaves the house to keep outside. <laughs> Oh, they were asleep. <laughs> I like the BJs. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, Mamsie. <laughs> it's a surprise. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This is what I've been knowing about it for a long time. Thank you for turning the light on. I need the light. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> We've been scheming for so long. I knew I was playing this game. I have no idea. Tonight, tonight, Jared picked him up at 10. Yeah. And that's so why you couldn't talk to me earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where, what, what did you fly into my like No, like Charles. I see if I'm able to be here for Chris. I have no idea. Be here. So guys, look who's home. And it's a bit tricky. Other way. Hmm? I'm just walking. You gotta push hard. <laughs> Guys, who is it? Who is that? Who is that?
him. <laughs> So this is just something special, and we're going to send this to him in a couple of weeks, just because he misses a lot of stuff. So um, we thought that this would be really special. Can you guys all scoot, scooch in together? Okay, we'll tell you guys what to say. Everybody scooch in. Scoot back a little bit. Tegan, turn around. Okay. Face the camera. So, so this is what. Listen, this is what everybody's going to say. You're going to say. Hi, you're going to say, Sergeant Skipworth, come home soon. On three. Nice and loud, what you have there? Ready? One, two, three. Sergeant Skipworth, come home soon! Woo! All right. Thank you. No, it's okay. No, no, girls, go back down. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. What's in that come here? Is that a good surprise? Yeah. Wow, she didn't make nearly as much noise as I did. Home blog, the number one site for videos of surprise military homecomings. 
Visit welcomehomeblog.com to see the newest video every day.